Hi everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. Hey, we're going on a ride today all the way from Dunedin, which is down here in what I used to call the southern part of the villages, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're going to go up all the way through Lake Sumter, all the way to Spanish Springs, and we're going to take you over that bone curdling bridge ride. Oh, right. Would that be fun? That'll be fun. We have some, right. vis we have some visitors with us behind yeah, us. Yeah, my, my sister is right back there. Way. And my brother-in-law, Dottie, Dottie and, and Tom. Tom. <laughs> and uh, they're buckled in, ready to go. Are you buckled in? <laughs> Let's go. And we're out here at the corner of Oracle and Hillsboro Trail. Oh, we got some traffic today. Yeah, we're looking straight across at Pensacola. That's part of the uh, Bonifé golf course, one of the three nine-hole tracks. And now we're on Hillsboro Trail, heading towards Spanish Springs. It's going to be a long road, but uh, we're going to lollygag. Okay. We're going to look for alligators. We will. Well, you won't probably get to see them, but we won't lie to you. Signal's on. My arm is out. And we have a camera on the back of the golf cart so you can see what kind of perilous situations I put us in on today's ride. <laughs> I hope it's not perilous. <clears throat> okay, we're looking at the right to our pond that almost always has alligators out and I don't see any. Oh, there, over there. Uh, on the other no, side. No, that's Anahinga. Oh, you sure? Uh, all right. And there's an Anahinga right there. Airing it out. They, have, they, fold their, they hold their wings out. Drying those armpits. I did the same thing this morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's about 10:15 a.m. and it's Thursday. You're gonna, or it's Wednesday. You're gonna get this tomorrow, Thursday. Sorry. If I've got all the switches turned on and whatnot. Linda, will you look under there and see if that's recording? Yep. I'll have to talk for you today. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, I think so. She thinks so. Well, I don't I, have my reading glasses on. I have my sunglasses on, and it's a big difference. I can't really see. And we got quite a wind in our face, don't we? Yeah, we do. We need that today, don't we? We need it. So How are you doing back there? Great. Wonderful. That was a pit bull. We don't need pit bulls here in the villages, do we? I'm not a real big fan, but... They have thousands of pounds of bite force. Uh, hey, Mike, if you're watching this video, we really need some cup holders in this back seat back here. Tom <laughs> is requesting cup holders on your next cart, Mike. <laughs> Passing my fishing pond on the left, and you'll see walkers like this lady on the right. She's on the phone. We really depend on those cell phones, don't we? Yep. Yes, I was visiting my uh, son's house this last weekend, and every, it's my son too. Our son. Oh, ah! I, I did it! I did it! I'm <laughs> uh, visiting our son and uh, and Holly, and everybody was sitting on the couch on their phones. And then, so guess what? So did I. <laughs> you kids and your cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on Charlotte Court, coming to the end of it. And uh, it's not actually the end, but we're going to turn right here on Pinellas Place. Mm -hmm. Pinellas Place goes all the way from Hillsborough, or from uh, Morse Boulevard, all the way over to Buena Vista. Has Tom seen the premier neighborhoods in Pinellas? I don't believe he has. Yeah, we ought to go into But we have a different mission today, Linda. Yeah. We're heading to, to where it all began. Yes. Passing Captiva Rec Center on the right. Now you folks that are loyal viewers, you know that when you're in the cart trail path like this, I said cart trail path, yeah. uh, it's going to run out up here. You see those arrows up ahead? So I'll signal and get over. And right up ahead is a gatehouse. You cannot go through that gatehouse in your golf cart. You must turn right or left onto the multimodal trail, and that's what we're we're fixing to do. That's what we do in Kentucky. We fix to do stuff, and uh, I'm going to turn here, scoot right across. See that gentleman on the bike? How you doing? Hello. 
she was having quite the hair day. Oh, that, those were two golf teams. They were both, both girl groups were dressed alike. Were they? Uh-huh. They're going for a tournament. Here's a truck parked in the grass. You see that? That's a common sight. They work on the sprinklers and landscaping and that sort of stuff. Do a fabulous job. If you've heard me talk before about these split trails like this, you see it? We're splitting off to the right. It's one way, it's one way on the other side. I encourage Linda to never let a golf cart pass her on the split trail because yeah. it's so narrow, it could clip her handlebar. Yeah, on bikes. So just hog the lane if you're a bike on this little split trail. That's right. Some people will get mad at you, but hey, it's better than getting hurt. That's right. Coming down to the tunnel, we're going to turn it. I keep, I had the turn signal on because I thought Mike had self-canceling turn signals. He's got everything else on this cart, <laughs> except cup holders. <laughs> Mike's not going to let you drive this anymore. If you're, you're, you're dissing it. Is that the word? We are so <laughs> blessed to have two good friends with four-seater front-facing carts. Did you see those sandal cranes? Yeah, they're always there. They're and, always uh, tearing up that Really day. appreciate both of them. Yeah, we do. Yeah, the cranes were tearing up the golf course, weren't they, Linda? They were. Yeah, they're fun to watch, but they can tear up your yard. Uh, right here, we're driving along Sarasota Executive. That's a nine-hole course. They're all par threes. It's supposed to be an easy course, but let's face it, none of them are easy. <laughs> See the picnic uh, bench right here? We come here with our McDonald's once in a while and we, we watch the people tee off. That's what these folks are doing. That's what we do. One time when we were, we were sitting here, I saw, a, Linda's actually saw a toad and uh, she said, look at that toad. And it was eating a frog. Or, uh, the, uh, let me start that all over again. She saw a toad, and I walked over there, and there was a snake eating that toad. Oh, no. And I filmed it. I filmed it, and I put it on YouTube, and it was uh, it was struck down because of the violent nature of the snake eating the frog. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're passing Conley Cottage uh, Rec Center and pool, and that's a sports pool, and that's where I used to take water aerobics. Loved that pool. It was a lot of fun. Hey, right here we are at a stoplight just for golf carts. Just for golf that. carts. But we got the green light, so we're going on through. Did you see that ambassador down there? You may not have. Yep. He's uh, in control of keeping pace moving on the golf course. That one is one of the Havana layouts. That's, I believe that's Kenya. I could be wrong. But we're coming back up to Morris Boulevard. We passed under it just a bit ago. Remember that tunnel? Yes. All right, Linda, I'm going to turn the commentary over to you. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. All right. This is a sharp corner. You're always going to pass somebody, so you got to go slow. Two hands on the wheel. Right. Nine and three, right? Yeah. Boy, I had some mail on that. They said, don't hold it at 10 and two. Oh, is it nine and three? Yeah, but there's no airbags on the golf cart. <laughs> Well, there might be on this one. Uh, I don't golf here because that's uh, a championship, right, Jerry? Right. So that's long holes. You're going to have par fours, par fives, and I don't do those. If I do, my par, the par five one, I'm going to get a 10 every time. <laughs> but I've gone on a couple golf courses with par fours. Have you ever made a par four? No. <laughs> well, I don't think so. No. No, Wait, that's Kilimanjaro. Maybe. I said Kenya. Yeah. That was Kil Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. All African themed after Ernest Hemingway, the big game hunter slash author. Right. And he lives in the Keys, doesn't he, Jerry? He used to he, live. Yeah, he's dead. I know, but he used to live in the... Uh, Florida Keys. We're, we're at uh, Havana Country Club now. One of the finest places to dine, according to Linda. It is a very nice place, and I love sitting out on the patio. Um, it's uh, it's just lovely to see the golfers coming in, and uh, you can see the course. It's a nice atmosphere, and they have great food. 
I think we went there for my birthday. Didn't we, Jerry? This last year. Um, Derek brought the five grand, the grandkids yeah, up. That's right. Okay, we're, we're waiting on a semi truck or a big truck. Oh. That truck said the village's pool buying group. I was trying to figure that out. Pool. Uh -huh. Does anybody out there have a pool they want to sell? <laughs> a lot of trucks enter the uh, villages for yard work or maintenance for a lot of things yeah here's kenya we're looking at it right here there's the starter shack see it says kenya that's a nice area right there if you want to play golf here you go to the pro shop at havana country club you pay your fee they will give you a ticket you take that ticket to the starter shack and he will give you a uh, what is it a band or a tab to put around your mirror right to tell the ambassadors that you have paid to play and you're good to go And in the villages, it's nice. Anybody can golf. If you're, if you have a, if you are handicapped or you are uh, have a physical disability and you need some help, they do have special golf. Is there a special? Uh, some people have their own special golf cart where they can take you all the way up to the uh, the tee or wherever your ball is hit, and uh, it's great. Yes. Yeah, oh, Roddy yeah. was just mentioning the smell of the magnolias, mm -hmm. the blossoms. We used to have one in our yard, didn't we, Dottie? Yeah, we sure did, a big one. Oh, these are magnolias. Is that magnolia? Yep. Traveling up Morse Boulevard. Not too busy, is it? Nobody behind us, nobody in front of us. Yeah, it's great. And it's a warm day, but it feels good, doesn't it, everybody? Yeah, it's great. You do. So this, uh, we have the. Uh, do you get blown? We have the 120 air conditioning in this this particular cart. 120. One window down and uh, 20 miles an hour, and you're cool. <laughs> Linda actually has an Easy Breeze I fan do. in her golf cart, and it's the it's state of the art, top of the line, keep her cool. You ever use it? Uh, well, sometimes when I'm golfing, if it's really hot, golfing days in the summer, I will turn it on. But I do turn it off when we go out on the, the tee. I don't want that running. It's a little noisy. <laughs> and most of these carts have uh, cooler on them, don't they? Yes. So you can put the beverage of your choice in there. And you, I usually take ice and a, a, and a neck wrap because uh, you never know how hot it's gonna get. We had a lady got really sick one time, almost got heat stroke. And we had to put ice on her. She was about 80 years old, wasn't she? She was, uh, you, she's... It can happen to anybody. Anybody can be get heat stroke. No, she was talking about the almost 80 years old part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My sister used to pick on me when I was younger. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? Let's not even go there. <laughs> Coming up between two or uh, three bikers. Oh. I'm good. Now let's see if they out want us to pass, but I would never pass them on this. No. They're doing it just right. They're hogging the lane and that's what they should do. Let's hang up. There's not room to pass, as you can see. Wouldn't be very safe. Which two do you think are married? <laughs> the two green. <laughs> Can you imagine grown people wearing the same t-shirts? Can you imagine that, Jerry? Always. Uh-huh. How many matching t-shirts do we have? We're lollygagging. Hey, they're going 20 miles an hour. That's they're, pretty good. They're, they're booking it. Oh, there's a lot of Jerry's in the group. Oh, we're at the rear of a Peloton. We have a Peloton going. That's the scraggliest Peloton. <laughs> I'm going to pass these guys. Okay, we're coming through. 20 miles an hour. Good job. They, they probably know. They don't have e-bikes. 
They don't? They're not I, cheaters. I would, I, they're not cheaters. I didn't even look. I, I love to cheat on my e-bike. <laughs> look at this lady. She's got a saddlebag. Oh, all right. She got she her. That makes her lean. She's got She's a lean in love with her saddlebag on one side. You need two of them. Tell her, Linda. <laughs> good job. She's got a tan. She's been biking a while. I said good job, but look how far she is behind these other people. Well. She did step it up. Here I am driving in my deluxe cart. Yeah, telling right. these people I'll get an exercise to right, step it up. Right, right. Those are two different people up there. They're not the same ones in the yellow shirts we saw back there. Yeah. Well, they might be part of a club. It might be a club. Or maybe they're just for super high visibility clothing. Yes. It's always good. I like to wear my vest when I do bike riding. Uh, that's a big help for other people to see you. Now that trike up there is like mine, Linda. Okay. Down low. You're that low. I see this one like that uh, tricycle up there. And notice they're all wearing helmets, which is a... Much a safer with a tricycle. You're never going to tip it over. Until the right dog chases after you. Oh, no, you can't. how about that but pit bull? It's also better with two wheels in the front, isn't it? For, for stability. Yeah. These folks aren't interested in uh, letting us buy. Well, yeah. Got to watch for tr incoming traffic. Okay. We're okay. Stopping full stop. Uh -huh. In the middle. <laughs> Stop there. Here's Not the... stopping there. <laughs> little bumpity bump. Oh, this is a bad bump. Those little bumps, that bump right there is the one that knocked my camera off last time. That's right. Oh, that made me mad. We're still we're still good here in the front. I hope the back's okay. It is, I can see it back there. Going under the moors. Going under moors again. Okay, they're stopping to look. They don't know which way they're going. They're just, oh, they gotta go up the hill. We're waiting. Now, this is a Curtis cab in front of us. See that? Yeah. It's got a sliding door. Hello there. Yeah. There's a golf course called Caroline. Yeah, Caroline. That's part of the Mallory Hill. Okay. I can't go left because there's a cart. We got a cart. But I am gonna pass them. Single saddle bagger. Uh -oh. Okay. We got Jumps. a situation. Uh oh, we did. We have to put it in the turbo boost. And we did. We and made it. we made it. Go, 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 go. Good job. There we go. Now we are clear sailing. You know there are over a hundred villages now? Oh wow. That is a lot. Yeah. And 114 pools is what we've been told. We can't go to all of them. There's a handful that you need a priority membership for. Yes. We don't have that. We don't need it. Yeah. 110 pools is plenty for us. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and yet there are people that that put in their own pools too. Oh yeah, lots of people <laughs> have lots their own of people have their own pools. Like there? Yes. And believe it or not, we are almost to Sumter Landing already. Just that easy. That's what Bob Ross said. Just, just that easy. Just that easy. Good job. Thank you. They do an amazing job, to tell you the truth. They're piled it up here for collection after a while. We had some good friends that rented a home in Caroline one time and then they came back and bought a house in there. Yes. That's our great friends Pat and Brenda. Yes. They'll be down here at the beginning of next month. Yes, many people will rent for a month or two months and sometimes people do more. And uh, lo and behold, sometimes those people end up buying
I love it that. looks like it's unkempt here, but that's actually where they've raked it out. They've raked it They're out. going to bring the truck along. Hello. Yeah. They're going to scoop Clean that all up. up. Yeah, our last cart ride, we they were putting out the mulch. They use a lot of that pine straw mulch. Mm -hmm. I don't care for it because the wind blows it. Yeah. Now we have to go under Morse Boulevard again. We've done that, I don't know how many times, three or four times already. I know, already. we go back, then we go forward. Back and forth. See, you can't have a thoroughfare through a golf course. So when we get to a golf course, we have to cross under. So right here at the end of this tunnel, you're up here at Sumter Landing. You can go either left or right, but we'll go right. And you've heard me talk about it before. Right up here is a detour because I think the old road took you right through the entrance of the roundabout there and there's uh, no there's no gatehouse okay. so it's probably dangerous yeah you see it there yeah so carts can't go that way anymore so that's basically for walkers yeah we have to go through the parking lot here at Winn-Dixie You want to take a stop and make sure that uh, you can read that microphone. All right. Let's do that before we go too much further. All right. I'll stop here at this stop truck. Oh, there's a cart behind me, so I'll pull over. We're checking the microphone for you, folks. Because Linda gets really mad if it's not on. Uh, look underneath. Look and see if you can see. So you stop so I can look and see. I can't see it. I can't read it. Sorry. I don't. I can't. Stop so you can do it. Okay. Yeah, stop so that you can see it. Cut stage. Oh, I'm looking good on that. All right, good. Thanks. I was if, if it was my problem or it was my fault, I'd be feel so awful. Why would it be your fault? Because I couldn't see that. I don't have my reading glasses on. Michigan cart. What's up with that? <laughs> Jerry, there's people from every state here. Oh, you're gonna turn? You're turning. Uh, you're turning. Texas here. Huh? You're, you're turning. Oh yeah, of course we're. Yep, yeah. Texas. You're representing Texas. Yay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> now we're back on. See what we had to do there? Yeah, that'd be dangerous right there. There's not that a sign says no cars as in automobiles on this because I guarantee you people have done it. Yeah. This is uh, Creekside. Is it Creekside Landing here to your uh, left? Your blink. Oh, those are beautiful. Beautiful homes. homes in there. Very high dollar also, especially the ones that back up back up to Sumter. Ten mile an hour limit. I'm gonna have to gear it down here a little bit. This is a little scary. Now this is one that'll make you hold your breath. <laughs> if you meet carts going the other way. So there's a name to this lake. Name to what? This name, this lake has a, it's not Lake Sumter, it's Lake. They Mill. call it Lake Sumter. Okay. But somebody told me it's a Cherry Lake. Cherry Lake. This is Sunset Point, where the people go to watch those submarine races I was telling you about last week. Uh, they're doing some renovations up here. Yes. Now look at this. They, this guy's made the path even smaller by parking on it with two wheels. Uh -huh. He's a maintenance guy. He did. Oh no, bad, bad, very bad. I guess he did the best he could. Yes, they're going to make this lake a little bit more accessible to people, more boating experiences. Uh, you can fish on there uh, with a guide at this point. So we uh, shall see the new, uh, what's going to happen. Somebody caught a really big bass. Tom's a fisherman last week, Tom, a big, big one here, but you have to go with their tour guide. And you can't keep it. Everything's released, of course. You should do it this week if you want. It's. Uh, it's not that expensive. All right.
good. Just what we have to do now. But cross, cross under again. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get in there on the lily pads and crawl. Uh-huh. This is like driving an aircraft carrier. I know. Look I at this beautiful area. Love this. Isn't it nice? The live oaks with the yeah. moss hanging down. It provides so much shade and uh, it's very, very scenic. Those are nice villas right up there. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Wow, that's a that's a villa. It's got a pool, but well, that's interesting. It's not covered. Did you see that? Uh huh. That's unusual. That one's for sale, dear. I just noticed a uh, drink can on the side of the road there. Uh -huh. That is a rarity here. Very rare. They get picked up so quickly after someone drops them. But they blow out of golf carts or off the back of a service truck or, or whatever. Now you, notice, you may notice up ahead the uh, Spanish theme on that church because we're entering the Spanish Springs area. Yes. That is Hope Lutheran Church, I think. And then right next to it is Fair, Fairway Christian Church. Both lovely churches. We Hello. Li we like Fairway Christian because it has a Saturday night service. Checking sprinklers, I believe. Yeah. It looked like Johnny Appleseed. I thought it was Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> he had a great big white beard. Yeah. <laughs> you notice the workers wear uh, long pants long and long sleeve pants, shirts. Long pants, long sleeve. They they protect themselves from the sun. They but they got to be hot. This is kind of cool. A little bridge. A little different. That's a very busy intersection for cars, too, when you're coming in with your car. This is an area that's been often discussed about because of the uh, danger. It right here is very dangerous. There have been multiple fatalities since we've lived here. Yeah. Now we just, we're north of 466. So we are truly in the Spanish Springs area. The names of the villages kind of show you that. De La Vista. De La Vista West and East right there. So, uh, Jerry, do you have a calculation when these homes probably were built in the Spanish I would say Springs? these homes are more than 25 years old. Okay. Starting to do a little turnaround in the ages too, probably. Or younger people moving up here. De La Vista North. All sorts of Spanish sounding names up here like uh, Santo Domingo and Rio Grande. Yes. You're from Texas. Did you ever, do you speak Spanish? A little bit. A little? You, poquito. Un poquito. Uh, I took four years of Spanish in high school. Did you know? Yeah, I, I, I can decipher a little. I know mostly bad words. Oh, do you? That's what most kids learn first. <laughs> That's what I, I, I know some bad words too. <laughs> Rio Ponderosa. Again, we're on Morse Boulevard. Look at that funny golf cart. <laughs> That's not a quiet tech. That's <laughs> a different tech. He needs an umbrella. 
boy, this is dangerous. You can't do it, Jerry. Oh, it, I can do it's, it. No, it's bumper to bumper. You'll have to wait for a while. There's a white truck way back there. Oh, God, Jerry. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I'm used to it. I said, oh, oh God, Jerry. Now, that blue Corvette up there? Yes. That's the same model as mine, except mine's a convertible. Okay. Wow. Is it that same color? No, my red, not beautiful red. Red. Okay. It's like crimson. Tom said he has a Corvette. How old were you when you got that? 60. 60? 60 years old, so it's like a second childhood thing? Yeah, well, you get you can afford one, you can't eat, you can't get in and out of it. So. You know that's true. There are so many people up in the villages that have sports cars and all that. I'm going, how do you get in that? It's hard. You <laughs> go that graceful and get in and out. Oh, they're hard. They're hard to get in and out. They're fun to drive. We have a buddy, Greg, who bought the uh, 2022 Super Nice. And it was hard as heck for me to get into, and he eventually traded it off. Yeah. It wasn't even a year old, I think. <laughs> De La Mesa. Rio Grande. And you notice the homes don't look a lot alike here. They're a lot, the varied houses, uh, the looks are different. This is where the lady that bounces lives. Yes, that's right. She has the bounce shoes. That's uh, That's Erin. She's, uh, she's uh, quite an inspiration. <laughs> if you haven't seen that show, ladies and gentlemen, look up the one uh, with bouncy shoes. Hi, Erin, if you're watching. <laughs> Hope you're still bouncing. <laughs> the village of Miramesa. I got a turn here. I should have already merged, but I didn't really know I was there. That was a no no. <laughs> that was an El Nino. <laughs> so that drive didn't take too long, and we are here. I'd say within a minute or so, we're going to be right at the entrance to the uh, town square. Okay. You know, you see the fellow up here trimming his shrubs. The pride that people have in their homes here is incredible. Yeah. Our dad would have loved to live in a place like this. Yeah. But even more so on the other side of the bridge. If we make it across the bridge successfully, I'll show you where the village is all started. Oh, really? Yeah. You're going to see more yard art up here. Yes, there's less restrictions up here. Uh, they have uh, things have changed, and they're not under as strict uh, uh, rules, I think, as we are. And here we are. Is that the hospital? No. Doctor's offices. That's something, and then that's the horse mm. on the other side of it. Oh yeah. Are we coming out through here? Are we supposed to come out here? Yeah. What else you gonna do? Got to come out here. It seems odd. Everybody has to stop. Hopefully they will. So Jerry, a question your viewers may may appreciate too. When we came in last night, there was a gate and it had an arm. But all you had to do was go up and push a red button and the arm open. That's right. That's What's right. the purpose of having the gate if all you got to do is push a button and you go in anyway? That's an often asked question. Often and, asked. Uh, it's to control during busy times the traffic that uh, crosses there where the golf carts cross. And if they didn't slow it down with those arms, there could probably be some more injuries. So it's no security thing, it's more of a traffic control. I, I would say more so, yeah, but there are cameras there. There are cameras, you are, you are being recorded. We're gonna go around the town, this is the town square. Tonight it will be jumping. 
Linda loves to uh, shop at I Self's. I love those, but they're closed. Yeah. They're, soft surroundings. They're open, but soft surroundings closed. This is a new restaurant, Bella Vita, Italian. They say it's very good. Bella Vita. Bella Vita. Did we eat there? Uh-uh. Now, here's the founder of the villages. Tom, you want to get a shot of that with that uh, camera? That's Harold Schwartz. He's the one that had the vision, actually started selling land through mail order. You could buy a, a complete home on a lot with free golf for life for $12,995. And over here we see the Sharon Morse Performing Arts Center. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous inside. And uh, you'll see big acts. We saw Jay Leno there not too long ago. Yep. Yes, sir. Right next to it's the Rialto Theater. It used to be one of the three theaters that were operational. But hey, everybody streams movies these days and uh, Netflix and all that. I still love going to the theater. Yeah, there still is one, but they didn't need three, so they're converting that. I'm sure they'll turn it into something cool. Uh, that is going to be apartments. Uh, apartment? Uh, aren't they? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, I'm not sure. They. Over Katie Bell's here is going to be apartments. Yeah. Oh, oh. Over there? Yeah, those are going to be apartments. All right, so there we saw Jared, that. Jared, let's stop at the, the soft surrounding, or the, the uh, Where is it? leggings place down here, since we're here. Linda wants to stop and get some leggings or something. Where is it? Dot right, right there across the street. Okay. Dot right here. So right we're going to take a break. You want to turn everything off for a minute? All right, yeah. Okay. We're going to stop here. Dottie and I are going to go shopping for just a second. Would you turn off the camera on the back, please? Well, that shopping trip was excellent. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry thinks it's excellent because we didn't buy anything. Tom got an ice cream cone at Kilwins. <laughs> but other than that, not a... Linda's got it in her hand. Oh, it's right here. She's looking for it. What they have done in front of us is so cool. On the back of their back seat, they put two baskets, water baskets, to carry their things with. Doesn't uh, Spanish Springs have a nice feel to it? Yes. Yeah, fudge, cookies, ice cream, candy. Okay, we're ready to go for our thrill ride. I always have trouble figuring out how to get over there. But first, I want to show you all the uh, memorial to soldiers over here and sailors and airmen. There's the memorial. Nice. See, there's a, this is a memorial for the veterans and the Galrix there. Same here. Same here, She was giving a hard time to that card in front of her. So I said, same here, I'm giving it to you. Oh. It's a joke. <laughs> Beautiful trees, look at that. Okay, guys, you ready? Get ready to hold your hands up. Tom, you got that tug. Got that I camera know, ready? I I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Hold your hands up, Daddy. We've uh, got a situation here. I stopped. We shouldn't have. Linda's lost her microphone. That was the easy part. Here we go. Oh, oh slow down. <laughs> and I did that without my seatbelt. <laughs> oh, 
Hello. How are you? Oh. I think he want me to stop. I think so. <laughs> we don't drive up here very often. We may have missed a stop sign. Did you find your microphone? I did. I had taken it off and put it in the tray, so I do have it. Is it turned on? Yes. Well, that gentleman wanted his dog to There was no stop us. sign. He should, you know, hey, I don't get pushy with cars. So I'll let him go. Look at that truck. No, it's stop. If you want to take a video, you push that button. Look at those flowers there. Hey, those look what the name of the street is. Aloha Way. Uh huh. That's where our friend Erin lives. Oh, she does. Mm -hmm. Dottie, if you hold it up higher, does it does it go up high? She needs to hold it outside. Oh yeah, up as high as she can. I can't tell if I'm recording. Push that button. I thought I did. Dottie, you look at it. Now look at these homes. You think they have the same restrictions we do? <laughs> Dottie, look over here to your left. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, this is how it all began. Is that a great model? Uh, yes. Or, or, uh, yeah, those are crepe mortars, right, Jerry? Yes. It. It's like ours. Yeah, you're fine. And here comes a tree, though, Dottie. <laughs> yeah. Very few garages here. They have carports, mostly. Right. You can smell that mimosa. I love the way they smell. Uh -huh. Here's Aaron's house right here. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It looks great. Aaron's done a great job with that house. It's beautiful. That's what I said. My, our dad would have loved living in this neighborhood. Yeah. He wasn't a fancy Dan at all. Well, it doesn't mean that they're not fancy Dans, but they, uh, it's just got a different feel about the neighborhood. Well, what I meant was he didn't need a three-car garage and right. a, a fancy lanai and everything. There's a new home. There's obviously an older home had been yes. taken down. Uh, yes. That's good. Okay. That's good. Oh, wow, wait. Yes, and uh, I think Dottie uh, and Tom, I think if they uh, take down the uh, prefab homes, and they have to build a new home. I don't think they can put back a new prefab. It's got to be a... I'm not sure. Stuck, I think so. Like this. That's been gone, and now they have a home. This blue home is uh, reportedly the original home of, of, of Harold. Uh, Harold Schwartz. I'll give you a couple different looks at that. Right there. It's right on the lake. Got a car it's actually got a nice lot. Big corner lot. Oh, they're building a new home right next to him. Oh, they are. Yeah. Huh. Wow. That's good, Dottie. You can relax. That was a great. I wanted to get a picture of his house, so that was nice. You can scrunch it all up, turn it off, no problem. Go back yard.
What flavor ice cream did you get, Tom? I think it's caramel with uh, pralines. Caramel and pralines? Yeah, yeah that uh, Killian's is uh, a good store. He's trying to control it back here. Oh, is it li <laughs> it's leaking? Ah. We should stop at the Mark Twain Library. The driveway is glistening. It's got it's really. Stop where? The they got a Mark Twain Library up here. It's one of the paradise, or I don't know. Let's see, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna try to take y'all up to the uh, Orange Blossom Pool. I need a drink. Oh, gotcha. My cactus over there. Wow. You're still being recorded everything you say, so try to speak up a little bit. Oh, okay. These homes sold for twelve thousand nine hundred ninety-five with uh, the country club access, the swimming pool access, the golf golf free. Twelve nine ninety five. Oh, okay. That would have been what year? Uh, nineteen eighty, give or take. Yeah. Early eighties. Maybe seventies. And what do they go for now when they go up for sale? Uh, it's hard to find one less than two hundred, but I've seen them for one fifty nine, one sixty nine. library over here if you, if you want to see it. Yeah. We don't need to see it, but there is a library. Not very Let me know if you see the water tower when I head toward it. Over there? Okay. Oh, there is one over that way. I get confused in here. There's so many little streets. I <laughs> know. Magnolia is one of the trees that they put automatically in your home if you when they build a new home. Because we had one, I think. Dottie, the original family came from Michigan, so a lot of the um, a lot of the street names are street names from back in Michigan. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. then we should go see the model homes <laughs> and get an agent. I knew, I knew he wanted <laughs> Look at that tree. Oh, so cool. Oh, 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 I, I did, I saw a swing on oh, it. Wait, I'm so jealous. Yeah, I could, I could live like Mike and them do. <laughs> yeah, I can see you doing that, Tom. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's lovely here in the winter and it's, it's great. 
You'd have to take up golf. You'd, you'd learn it. I mean, we have friends that are snow flakes. Right, Jerry? Come and go, come and go. Well, Pat and Brenda. Yeah. Yeah, that might be for our speed. I mean, you might come down for a month. Uh, you can come down for a month or two yeah. at a time. Oh, it's just a cul-de-sac. Here we are. Oh, what a nice little view, though. <laughs> oh, this guy says, I don't want any grass. I just want rocks. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, but he does have a backyard. Oh, a robot lawnmower. Yes. There you go. There's a house that's been rebuilt, or put a house in here. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that pretty? Oh my gosh! I'd like to see that thing. Where was it? I don't know. Honestly, it's right here. I want to say back, oh, yeah. back, right back there. The right back there. I promise you, if you wanted to sit in it, nobody would turn you down. <laughs> Look at this tree right in the middle of the street. Especially if Jerry and Linda was escorting you there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty tree. What kind of that? Weeping willow. Probably weeping cherry. Weeping cherry. Well, we had a weeping cherry that didn't look like it. You probably didn't let it. Except for the flowers. The flowers. Different color flowers. Yeah, different colors. Have you got your eye on that water tower? Oh, there it is. Things making noise, something. This, uh, this thing. What's happened here, Jerry? Across the street. I say they're getting a new garage door. Oh, okay. We have a magazine that will come out once a week to show what's for sale in all the different areas. So uh, we and we can find it on our phone too on the Villages app. It will show all kinds of homes from every every area of the villages. Okay, here's uh, Orange Blossom Country Club. It's, we we beaten there, and there was some great entertainment there. We, and uh, we, after COVID, we haven't really been back. No, but we did like it. It was really nice. This is a very unique pool. They got a waterfall with their pool. A lot, of, a lot of people there today. And that's a private pool. You have to join the country club to go there. No, you have to join the enhancement membership. Enhanced membership, okay. And they come out and serve you too. See, Dottie, oh, that, nice. that's nice, huh? Very nice. See, they have people come out and serve you food and drink. Oh, that's really so nice. what time you got to get there to get one of them uh, cabanas? <laughs> well, there's not, uh, there are probably some open right now. Oh, yeah. Why don't y'all walk in and take a look? This is a private pool and you have to be a member. And and there's a hot tub behind the, the waterfall. How lovely. And then they have live music there every night. Most restaurants have live music every night. We met a guard. There's a hot tub behind the waterfall. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've turned it. Yeah. All right, let's try to make it back over the uh, bridge before the batteries run out on the GoPros. Oh. If those GoPros were out in direct sunlight, they would have already been dead. But they're oh, really? they're both covered up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, you put your go. Pull up a little bit. Okay, that's all right. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't know I That's okay. I, I didn't have room to get around you there. Thank you. you can't turn that way. You got to get this. <laughs> yeah, I get lost up here in these neighborhoods. This is. So, Jerry, do you have your golf cart wired so that you can run your cameras off the golf cart battery? Um, I have a USB port. So you can put your camera on a USB port? Well, he does too. But uh, um, 
I don't do that. I've never really needed to. It's the bicycle that they get uh, run out on because there's no protection. Isn't it interesting that they paint driveways in the villages? It's, yeah. a, it's a thing. <laughs> if you want to do it, just gives it a more complete look. Some are painted, some are stone, some are uh, cobblestone. Some are bricks. See that screen on the garage door? We're going to take you uh, sometime this week down to the newest, newer area, and you will, you'll be able to see some homes that are in the 250 range. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But they'd be villas, most likely. We, we, I wish our friends that just were snowbirds that just left, you could have seen their home. They have a villa, and it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> That's how everybody's mailboxes are. Let's see, is this where we go? No, this is not it. I want to get back over the bridge. Now, if it's too big for your mailbox, but do they bring it to your home? Or? Villages horseshoe club. Yeah, okay. well, they will. Okay. Do you see over there? All the bocce boards. Yeah, there's bocce here, nice in the shade. See those uh, boxes, big over, those big ones? They'll put your mail in there if it's too big. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes it's too big for that, and they'll bring it to your house. Yes, sometimes they will bring it to you. Those are shuffleboard and bocce courts. And then they also have an archery range around here somewhere. Right behind this fence. No. They've got a sh air rifle range. They don't have a stop sign. Yeah. And that goes up to the big highway or main road. When we say they have an archery range, they actually have a bunch of them. They have several shooting ranges as well. I've only been to the one uh, down at Soaring Eagle. Linda, you want to let Linda hold that stick, uh, uh, or you can, Tom, either one. Got her on? Yeah. It's not blinking. All right. Here we go. Don't question my camera abilities. I got it. Yeah. Get a running start this time. Gizmo went to that dog park one time. <laughs> you got it floored? All right. Hands up. Well, that's going to conclude our trip all the way from Dunedin up to Spanish Springs. What a nice trip. Yeah, very nice. Hope you very enjoyed nice. it. Hope Tom and Dottie enjoyed it. Very nice ride. Lots to see. Uh, no, we didn't give you a lot of side views, but that's hard. I get enough criticism for, uh, <laughs> for talking when I'm blogging and riding in a cart. So uh, it was fun, and we're glad you came along. Yes. If you liked our video today, press that like and subscribe button and share it with all your friends. Until next time. See you when you get here. <laughs>